Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back for more Silent Hill Origins. In the previous session, I remember why I have a love-hate relationship with, uh... Horror games, yeah. Real horror games. It's been a while since I last played a real horror game. Uh, ah, and yeah, we just arrived in the butcher shop. I've previously been to the sanitarium. Just arrived in the butcher shop, having uh, made a return trip, and there is blood all over the floor. Hopefully I'm not going to find out exactly what did that. Well, we know what did it. We really, really do know what did it. Um, but yeah, hopefully we're not going to find that out just about yet, because I've forgotten the controls. It's not been that long since the previous session, but yeah. Ah, okay. She's been gutted and split- Oh no. Oh no, that's an actual person. Got high heels on and every- Oh, whoa. Oh, that makes it so much more- Oh god, it's like leaking of the head and everything. That's not like blood. That's like brain fluids and oh no, no, that's that's disgusting. I think that's the first time I've ever seen like a proper dead person in a Silent Hill game thinking about it, apart from Homecoming, which is pretty much obsessed with murdering people actually. Uh yeah. Lovely. I think I should probably get out a weapon instead of a gun. Uh, to be honest, don't feel too confident using a weapon, but we have a lot of those, don't we? It, it kind of feels like maybe we should be using them. I don't know, maybe it, the game is... Uh, don't want another Luke. I can't get through there, okay. Oh. There's still blood on the floor from where he's left and made a trail, uh, uh, kind of a, you know, not as vibrant as that trail over there, but it's kind of like in clumps here and there, isn't it? And it's not very nice. So, uh, wh wh what are we going to next? I can't even remember. We're going to the theatre. Of course, we got a ticket, didn't we? Gonna go watch a film. What film's gonna be on, do you reckon? I mean, this is, uh, oh, we're going to the Lumberyard first, of course. This is set in, well, it's set in the, it's set in the 60s, isn't it, or something like that, I can't remember. 70s, 60s, maybe? Ooh, I wonder if The Warriors is on. I love that film. It's one of my favourite films from the 70s. Yeah, if it's set in the 60s, I, I, to be honest, don't really know many 60s films. I can't think of any off the top of my head, anyway. More of a 70s film boy, I guess. Uh, we've got- Ah, okay, alright. Yep, these things are on the street. I forgot about that. I don't need to go anywhere, do I? Not at the moment. Not really, because, um... Right now- Oh, Okay, don't run that close. I pretty much cleared the streets, didn't I? Pretty much. So I just need to head to the lumberyard. I mean, I can keep an eye out for maybe objects that are very clear here and there. But otherwise, just want to keep jogging. Stay well away from those things. Can't remember how to refresh the cat. It's like that, isn't it? Yeah, you can't rotate it. You can only do that. Now, do we need to turn the... Oh, I don't know. Let's just go down here, shall we? Oh, fuck. Okay, we're right. we're right. we're right. Stay away from that. Why has it got, like... I don't remember it having bandages like that before. Don't tell me that's a new one of those things. Like, a, a new breed of it. Right, and we need to... Oh, fucking hell, they're everywhere. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember the bandages being there first time we saw them. I do remember them, like, acting like this, though. They're pretty much doing exactly the same thing. Right, so we use the lumpy key. Let's head in there. And what are we going to have in here? I'm not looking forward to finding out. The break away from this game has been most welcome. Uh, Lumbyards are full of very pointy objects, aren't they? For soaring wood. Yeah, would you know it? Would you believe it? Hammer. Hmm. Great. Add that to our collection of other hammers, shall we? I'm still walking around with a typewriter. Got to keep Resident Evil safe, haven't we? I've uh, got to make sure we can save our game. Oh, that's going through me, that sound is. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. We can't take any of those gas cans, no. They would be heavy and great for bludgeoning people. But, um, I don't think you'd be able to really use it very efficiently, considering how heavy those things normally are when they're full. 
or empty. Hmm. Uh. Oh, it's getting closer. We're getting closer to it, shall we say? <sighs> I'll fight a giant moth or something. Is that going to happen soon? Probably. You know, one thing I've realised: we haven't had a nightmare street yet, have we? Like the other world, we haven't had it out here. I get the feeling that that's not even going to happen in this game. Thinking about it, because we would need a mirror on the streets or a reflective object of some sort, you know. And um, I can't see that happening. Really, can't see that happening. We have a newspaper. Someone has written on the newspaper. Why are you helping her, Travis? Did you see that nurse? Ah, uh, helping her? Who? We haven't really helped anyone, have we? Not even Lisa, but I'm guessing it's talking about Lisa. Or, oh, wait, Alyssa. Ugh, idiots. Of course. Why are we helping Alyssa? I see. And I'm gonna guess that was wrote by, like, Dahlia. I don't have a clue. But the nurse? What were they on about a nurse? I don't remember. I mean, the only nurse that we've seen is Lisa. Oh, I've gone off screen. There's no camera angle for this area over here. Hmm, maybe I'm being a bit stupid, I don't know. Let's keep moving this way anyway. Closer to that sound, yeah. Any other items? Nope, nothing yet. I'm going to be getting a gun straight out soon, aren't I? You know what, I'm going to do that prematurely, because I think we're going to fight a boss or something here. Uh, let's use the pistol for now. Yeah. How do I aim again? Like that, there we go, okay. Press the R1 button. <laughs> okay, it's, uh, it stopped. Very nice. <laughs> There's another hammer here. And is that something else? It's rope. There's a rope there. Bucket. Ah, oh, right. Okay, it's for lifting the bucket. Okay. Nothing? What the hell? There's got to be something here, hasn't there? What on earth is this? It is just a giant rock, isn't it? It's really strangely textured. Huh? There's actually nothing here. You bastard, Silent Hill Origins. You did that on purpose. Just to intimidate us. There is actually nothing here, is there? And this is just the way out the other side. Yeah, we're already on the other side of here. Now, once I get out onto the street, I need to start looking around because... Oh, great, a cemetery. Just what I wanted. Because this is an area where we haven't been before. And we need to be very careful as well because of, you know, enemies being around and whatnot. Especially those big bastards that are going to be out on the streets. Yep. So we need to run to the right first, I think. <sighs> okay, I think we're good. I think... I don't think anything is going to happen. No, I think, yep, yeah, everything's fine. Everything's okay. Now, one thing I'm liking about this game so far is it's quite relentless. It doesn't give you a chance to breathe, does it? It really doesn't give you a chance to breathe. I was expecting as soon as we got out the butchers for there to be no enemies about so that we could uh, take a look around and just kind of let what has happened soak in. But no, didn't even give us a chance. Did not give us a chance. What is making that sound? Something's over here, isn't it? Oh. Oh, it's just one of those things, right. And there is an item just over here. And grab this before it gets too close. Did something just lunge on it? Like, lunge at us from the other side of the, uh, bush? Could have sworn it did. Oh, shit. Okay, it's one of these again. Lovely. Uh, stop giving me that camera angle, please. I know that's there. We were on the other side not too long ago. And I need to check, like, down these, uh, in these corners, dark corners here and there. We can go through here. Oh, we got another camera. And there is some pistol ammo, I think there is. Yes, unfortunately, we've got to go back that way, haven't we? So, be very careful. Oh, okay, we're alright. We're okay. Maybe over here? Anything here? There's a house. Can we go in it? No, we can't. It's okay. Our friend over there is getting quite stuck at the moment on the scenery, so that's good. That's good news for us, isn't it? Got some free pistol ammo out of the deal. 
didn't have to use any as well. Lovely. And uh, can we go down here? Nope. It's trying to give us this camera angle again. So let's just exit away from here before we get stuck there. Right. So where are we going now then? So that's another cutoff. We need to go... Well, we can dip in here by the looks of it. We did already do this, didn't we? Just need to be careful of that bastard over there. Is there any items on the other side of here? Oh shit, we're, getting, we're making friends here. Fuck it, go for it, quick. Oh shit. Yes, there is. There's a crowbar here. Now, I need to stay to the left-hand side and just... Ah, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Move, 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 move. We're okay. We're okay. We only took a bit of damage from that. They don't do too much. Right, hopefully they're getting caught on the other side. Right, I think there's going to be another crevice just over this way. I could be wrong, but I think there might be a cutoff. Nope, I am entirely wrong, but you know what? I'm just going to keep going now because... so oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I need to get round you. Don't mind me. It sounds like our friend from before is actually still following us. How lovely. Right, use the, uh... Yeah, use the can to your advantage. Lovely. Oh, God, he is as well. This guy is relentless. I'm detecting a theme. You know, the sounds these guys make when they run... They sound so much heavier than they are, don't they? Like, they make a lot of noise. Oh, lovely. Now, I need to get those quickly, because, um... They're gonna be here soon. Fuck. They already are here. Right, move, 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 move. Ooh, okay. That's good, that's good. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Go on, keep going, keep going. That's it. There we go. Nice. Ooh, and down here... Mmm, this is a dead end as well, for fuck's sake. It's alright, we're getting so much ammo here, this is great. Honestly, I can't see us running out of this, ever. There's just so much, like, how much do we even have now? Can I get in the menu, please? Thank you. Uh, let's see. D -d 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 supplies. Fucking hell, we have 64 shots. Plus the ones in the gun, so we have 70 bullets. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? So that led to a dead end. Now we need to go to the right and check down these streets here, don't we? And we'll hook the left-hand walls. Which will actually be on the right. Excuse me, got hiccups. Just to see what's on the right-hand side of the... I just saw blood trail again. I think. Shit, there's more of these guys around here somewhere. Gotta be careful, because they just bloody dive onto this fucking screen, don't they? Especially with these fixed camera angles I'm getting at the moment. Silent Hill 2 all over again, but the enemies on the streets that you get in Silent Hill 2 are nowhere near as threatening as they are in this game. Uh, on top of that... You kind of get halfway through Silent Hill 2, and then they get much more threatening, from what I recall. Oh, jeez. Okay, this camera. Ah, shit, yep. Barely saw him, then. <sighs> Fuck me. It's alright. We're good. We're good. We're okay. Oh, there's another. That's alright. Didn't... He was too busy turning, I think. Oh, God. This is a dead end, though. Come on. Come on. We're okay. We're okay. I think we have a larger health bar than the game is letting on at the moment. You know, we've only gone down to that kind of, uh, sort of reddish state, haven't we? So far. Uh, go away, please. Hmm. Yep, there is a blood trail going in here. Lovely. Into the cemetery. Oh, dear me. Right, okay, this is not going to be pleasant, is it? I'm kind of getting how the map works. Anything that's kind of like a greyish colour that's on the side streets, that's what we can go into. Anything that's like a kind of, um, I don't even know what colour to call that. It's kind of like a reddish pink colour. You see, like, directly in the middle of the, street, uh, the screen now. Oh my god, there's a taco shack. I know where I'm going. Forget about this, guys. Forget about this. We're going to the taco shack. Of the public records. What else have we got? Greenfield. I, I don't know what that says. Apper, uh, uh, sorry, apartment. So, sorry. It's because it was on the side. I try my best to read it. And, yeah. Uh, t -t 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 -t. we can go down here. We're actually on the other side of the hospital. I wonder if we go back there at any point. A pharmacy, a cafe, or a calf. Doesn't have a uh, accent on it, does it? So it's a calf, guys. It's a calf. I'm gonna go in. 
fuck it. Let's just do it. What do we have here, then? We can't get into the actual cemetery itself. Oh, you're in the way, matey. Yeah, we are actually following the blood trail. Great. I didn't really want to do that. Oh, Jesus Christ, he's turning around. That's alright. If we go up there, we're pretty safe. So why didn't I do it? I don't know. I'm losing my mind. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. I don't know what this is. Pick it up. It's a baton. Lovely. I'm gonna get hit now. I'm definitely gonna get hit. But I can take a blow. Oh, God, okay. Fuck me. Move out of the way, please. Thank you. Need to get up here quick. And we can head in here. Can they get up the stairs? I don't think they can, you know. Yeah, I'm not gonna take any risks. We'll, we'll heal ourselves again. I still don't know what the energy drink's for. I haven't tried it yet, have I? I'm gonna guess it allows you to just keep running and running and running without running out of, um, any breath. So, um, why haven't I made use of that yet? Because that'd be really handy out on these streets, wouldn't it? For testing it as well, you know. Let's go in here, shall we? We can go in here, great. I was a little bit worried for a moment that we couldn't. So I'm just mashing that X button, okay. It's the title menu theme. Interesting. Is that a can of food there? It's very, very, um... Has many sides to it, so I don't think it is. It could be, on the other hand. But I don't think it's supposed to have sides, I think that's just because they made very low polygon models. Not thinking that this game would ever be ported to the PS2. Thinking it would stay on its native PSP... ...format. Something's... Uh, this is a bit of a different soundtrack. Well, it's a continuation from the one from the title menu, actually. Yeah. Take the lamp. I'll keep it safe. Could have just, just tried turning it on or something instead, Travis. That probably would have been the better idea. Can we take that TV? I could see that being very handy. I could see that doing a lot of damage, Travis. Hmm. Well, there's nothing here at the moment, is there? In this room? Okay. Something's blocking it. Can't open that door, okay. Something's going on in here, isn't... Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's a dead body. Fuck, someone's in here, aren't they? Gonna be in the fucking closet or something. It's gonna be like a reverse Silent Hill 2, almost. No, they've gone through that. There's another door, isn't there? That's not the one I came through. Let's have a read of this. Someone made a hole. Go home, Travis? There was a hole here. It's, uh, it's gone now. That's uh, a napkin, okay. Made a hole. I don't understand. This is horrible. This is really nasty. Is there some bullets on the table? Apparently not. I can't seem to pick it up. Might be like a handhold tape player or something. I don't know. There's a... Some kind of weapon on the floor. A razor. Is that like an American star one? Cutthroat. A monster. Someone has mutilated it. The blood is all over the room. Did whatever mutilate it write that message? I'm gonna guess that's not the... Oh, what the hell? There is actually a hole in the floor of this place. Lovely. Anything else here? There is a med kit. Okay. I don't think it's a good idea to jump down there. I wonder if Travis has the same dodgy jump down animation that James has in the, uh, in the second game. I'm looking forward to trying this out, but... Yeah, um, I don't think I want to go down there at this current moment in time, because... There's so many things I could probably find outside first, and it's probably gonna make it so that we need to come back here anyway. I could be wrong. I really could be wrong. I mean, there's no save point here as well. That's kind of alarming. I need a save point. I need my confidence back. Yeah. Right, let's get down here quick before any enemies have chance to realize that we... Oh, actually, it's moved the enemies some distance away from us. That's nice of it. 
That really is, because if they were clogging up their area, we wouldn't be able to get out. That just wouldn't be pleasant, would it? So, let's run out of breath, which is going to happen very soon, actually. Uh, come on, Travis. I know you have less energy than that. Not much stamina. Right, and uh, let's try using this, and just seeing if we can continue dashing. Yes, we can. So there we go. That's the use for the energy drinks. Good to know. A lot of enemies on the left-hand side of the road. That's kind of putting me off actually going that way. And of course, this is another dead end, because we just love our dead ends in Silent Hill. I'm not going to get through. No, I am going to get through, because he's going to go into doing that. That's great. Behind here, maybe? Behind the uh, dumpster? Nope. Nothing there. Oh. Shit. Ah! This is all a dead end. I didn't realize I ran down here. I thought I ran down this street, but no, it's much further on. So we've actually got to pass through that apartment in order to get to the other side, of course. Nice one. I like it. I really like it. That's very much remind me again of Silent Hill 2. It's got a similar sort of concept going on and whatnot. Similar uses for buildings. And I am gonna guess that when we come out the other side, we're gonna be in the uh, mirror world. Or, there's gonna be a mirror inside that apartment. I finally ran out of stamina. Hey, this was a good run though. Wait, what the fuck? Where did you... Oh, for God's sake. Well, <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna get the shotgun out and go crazy. Actually, no, I use the pistol. <laughs> Shit. What? Was I... How many... How did he do that? He just vomited and vomited and vomited. He did not stop, and he's got back up. Jesus Christ. Oh, of course, you need to shoot these guys when they're down, don't you? No, stay away. Don't do it again. You dickhead. Get away from it. Get... Fuck, 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 fuck. What do you have to do here? Press O. Didn't do it in time. X. Triangle. I don't know. Um, heal, heal, heal. Because that guy's gonna bash you. Oh, this is not going well. I think I've taken beyond the amount of damage that I did before, so that really does symbolize to me that I can continue taking damage. And the health drink seems to have not healed me. You know. Um... It seems to have healed more, is what I was trying to say, sorry. Than it did previously, if you get what I mean, so, yeah. I'm just panicking at the moment, excuse me. We're running out of health drinks. We really, really are running out of health drinks, aren't we? I've only got four left now. Four whole health drinks. Plenty of bullets, plenty of weapons, but barely any health supplies. That is ignoring the fact that I have loads of health kits. You know. Anyway, the floor is broken up here. Looks like I can drop through to the lower level. Jump down. Sounds like a good idea, doesn't it, Travis? Oh, you don't get to see us drop down. That's disappointing. That That's pretty much a deal breaker. I'm knocking one off the score of this game. Hmm. Uh, right. We can get out here, maybe? What's this? Something in here. The mailbox for the apartment. 213 is overflowing. Looks like the mail hasn't been collected for weeks. I'm going to write down that number. Because... I don't know, it might come it might come of some use. Also, I just heard a loop in the soundtrack there. <sighs> Two on three. Okay, great. So let's um Oh, we can't go that way. There's an elevator here. I pushed the button, but the elevator doesn't come. Okay, so we can't get up this elevator. There's multiple. That one doesn't work either. That's uh this is a very high class apartment building, clearly to have an elevator like that. It's very dressed up, isn't it? So it looks like we can only just go down here and walk out, I think. Unfortunately. Um, anything to the right or left, though, maybe? Oh, what's that? Seems jammed. I can't open the door. Okay, so there's a door around the corner that we can't see. I caught a glimpse of it then, I think. Right. Are we back out on the street, or are we in the apartment complex still. Oh, we're out on the streets and everything seems pretty cheery at the moment. As cheery as it can possibly be in Silent Hill, I guess. And, uh, yep, we're on the other side of the crevice. Great. So we've actually got over. That was pretty straightforward. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Camera, stay with me, please. We can go on the inside of this fence. Not much point, actually, by the looks of it. Oh, on the other hand... Oh, it looks like we can follow it all the way to some... Ah, rifle ammo! We don't have a rifle yet, though. Service pistol. Huh. Wait, is that actually... Did I read that correctly? I did. Yes, there is some more bullets for a different kind of pistol. I'm gonna guess that's a police pistol, a service pistol. It says it um, uses 9mm bullets anyway. Right, so, um, for the, uh... For the energy drinks we can use, right? Sort of use for them. If we are struggling to run away from an enemy, we can just go into the inventory and, you know, pop a few of those. Just to keep us running. Seems like a good idea to me. Uh, what's this? Greenfield Apartments. Yes, of course. We read that on the map earlier on. Now, no point in going inside the fence again. We should run down the street before going to the theatre, I think. Tempest. Oh, of course, of course. We were going to go see The Tempest. I forgot. It's not a film theatre. It's a, um, it's a play theatre. Fair enough. Well, there we go. Disappointed now. We don't get to watch a film. I need to check the theatre first. Wow, game. Okay, that is a bit... Well, whatever. That's fine. That's fine, I guess. But... <laughs> that's not quite what I was expecting. What, what, what do we have here? Bail... Bonds? Hawkins Bail Bonds. What's a bail bond? Never heard that term before. It's not like a bail out of jail or something, is it? I know that's something you can do in America. I've always found it particularly weird. Shotgun and uh, health drink. Cool. Well, you can get people out of jail by paying money and whatnot. Just seems a bit odd. You know. Uh, so where are we going in? We've got to hand a ticket in, haven't we? <laughs> There's a small slot for tickets. Okay, so let's put one in. I guess it's going to let us in. There we go. Use it. I can't use this item here. I don't think I'm close enough, am I? Let's... There we go. Try again. Nice. Okay. There was a noise from the main door. Sounds like it's unlocked. I love that. That's great. Is there anything we can read around here, maybe? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. What's that say? Cancelled. That's all I can read on it, so this play has been cancelled. Whatever it is. But, uh, everything else is a bit too pixely to read. Let's go through. Save point, if you may? Please. Just gonna ask very nicely. Right here, right now. Would be lovely. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's gonna give us one, though, does it? Oh, no. Nope. I'm wrong. There's one right there. Let's, uh, hop on over to there and hit up a save point. I don't know why I haven't been saving in different slots here, because, you know, uh, if you guys want to tell me anything that I've missed, or if there's anything important anyway that I've missed, or if you need to get a different ending at the end of the game to, uh, you know, you have to do something very specific like in the first game, then, you know, having different save slots like this might be handy. I remember when I first did my, um... Silent Hill 1 playthrough, people are like, why isn't he saving in different slots, you know, just to... Uh, well, the thing was, I was playing on the PlayStation 1. Like, playing directly off my PlayStation 1, and I didn't have many memory cards, so I couldn't actually do that. But now, playing on the PlayStation 2, probably don't need to worry so much, I've got like four memory cards as well. And they're pretty empty. Seems jammed, can't open the... okay, cool. So, we can't go through there, kind of narrowing down the amount of places we can go already. Theatre map. Oh. Okay. This is actually a lot larger than I thought it would be. And this is our next area. Ah, uh, not what I was expecting. Really not what I was expecting. A theatre. In a Silent Hill game. But, uh, I don't know. I like the design of this already. I mean, it's very, uh... Very nicely done, isn't it? Just the, you know, the... What's this? Oh. It's a, it's a note. Folk legends take the costume of Caliban. The designer Bill Ortega has taken a native buffalo spirit, fusing it with the stark, iconic images seen in the ancient local cult of 
uh, Voltile, I think that is. His set design for its dark carnivorous cave, uh, sorry, what? That's not carnivorous. Cavernous Cave was inspired by L Cave, a local historical. I think that continues on, and I think the beginning actually was, uh, yeah. I think this is an excerpt here. Um, and yeah, some of the words are actually highlighted. We have Caliban has it in his cave. Well, looks like I know whose cave I'm venturing into, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <clears throat> Ah, Caliban, I'm coming for you. Right. So, we can enter the the main theatre, the auditorium, just over here. We've got some side areas, I'm guessing staff access or something. Over here, we have a stair case that heads upstairs as well. Interesting. Yep, I'm not leaving, don't worry. Don't you worry your little head, Travis, it's okay. We're not going anywhere, just yet. Uh, more melee weapons, a wrench, and what the fuck is this? A health- oh, it's a health drink, okay, good. Oh, there's something else behind the health drink. Sorry, I thought that was, um, the entire object, if you get what I mean. Hmm, so can we go into the main area? Holy shit, we can. I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks like. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know. I really like this game so far. This is, uh... This is really clever. I like it. I really do. <sighs> Shut up for a moment about how good this game is. Okay. Let's go down here. Oh, something's happening. Oh, Lisa's here. What are you doing in here, Lisa? Sorry if I scared you. I thought I was the only one in here. It's dangerous. Dangerous? You're kidding. The door was open, so I let myself in. She looks... I just love the theater, Travis. Off her I be an actress, head. But mom was a nurse, and her mom was a nurse, so I'm going to be a nurse. I've got what it takes, though. I can't stop thinking about you, Travis. Oh. I want you. You're all I think about. Oh. Let's get the hell out of this crazy town. Run off. The two of us, we could be so good together. <laughs> See? I could be a star! Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, see you around. Uh. 